Welcome to Sports Talk. Hello, welcome. I'm Nick. I'm Mike. From Thought My Sports. Today we're going to be over the 2021 NFL Draft for the Buffalo Bills. The Bills Mafia. The ones that like to jump through tables. I mean, you got to love this fan base. I really do love this fan base. But let's hop right into this part. You got the Buffalo Bills. Look, Josh Allen. Love that guy. Stephon Diggs. Who doesn't love that guy? You got the running back situation is a little freaky, right? You got a defense. The defense is pretty decent. I mean, definitely could use some upgrades. So let's hop right into this. First round pick, Gregory Russo. What do you think? Gregory Russo was, he was on the line to be in my second or third ranked defensive lineman. He was their defensive end. He was my third. So I do like this pick. I think Gregory Russo is a big man. What do you have him listed as? I got him a six seven. Uh, let's see. I have him listed yeah, especially as... measuring in at. But anyway, he's an six, athletic six, freak. Six six two sixty six. I always athletic, round down. So athletic freak. Yes, yeah, I think a lot of them usually round up. Yeah, but well, he's an athletic freak. You get bull rush. He's a versatile player. Solid run defender. Um, he's got long arms on him. I like everything about him I think once he gets to the NFL he'll become more polished I think all the defensive ends in this draft were a little unpolished they, they, they need to add some skills add some moves but I do think this is a great pick for the Bills being that the defense kind of struggled last year and they got to add playmakers and I think Gregory Russo could be a big playmaker on the defensive side of the ball I like this pick yeah now look Gregory Russo has a ton of potential filled with potential okay big guy Really versatile. Let me go into my notes. I said, big guy can make plays with his overwhelming size, right? That size is, is honestly, he's a big guy. Uh, he has versatility to play inside and outside. Again, that's really nice. Most of his big plays were actually inside, which is interesting, right? Most of the plays I saw on film, he was lined up inside, interior, making a pass rush move. Uh, can rush the pass from both in and out and also has the capability to drop into the flat, meaning this guy can cover a little bit too. He has a versatility to do a little bit of everything. Look, I had him ranked as my fifth-ranked edge rusher. That's not bad, okay? I think this guy is full with potential. The reason why I give this a B-plus, a B-plus, is because I have him ranked as a fifth-best prospect at, from the edge position. But the thing is, is that this guy has a ton of potential. And, I, I look, with his overwhelming size and stuff, I feel like that he could be really, really special. So I give this pick a B-plus, and I think that Sean McDermott can turn him into something. Let's go to the next guy, Carlos Basham, or Boogie Basham. Boogie Basham. Um, I think Boogie Basham went a little earlier than I anticipated him to go. Let's see. I don't even think I had him in my top 10. Let me look, though. Hold on. No, I don't believe I did. I think this is a little bit of a reach, in my opinion. Um, but they like something about him. He's six foot three, 274 pounds, um, played for Wake Forest. He had 24 tackles, two for loss, and two fumble recoveries. Although, I think it's an early – I do think this is a stretch. I think it's a reach. I don't really know much about him, I'm not going to lie. So, I probably think they should have looked elsewhere here. But they do need defense, so you got to build the defense. But, I don't know. What do you think of it? Well, remember last year, I wasn't a fan of their pick at the end in A.J. Epinesa. Okay. Yeah. And now they go and they take two more edge rushers and Greg Russo and Carlos Basham. And I scratch my head with this one as well. Russo, I understand. Carlos Basham, I scratch. My notes were a mainly power guy who rarely uses finesse. He is a thicker guy who wants to power through the offense tackle, a little slow on his pursuit to the running back. The thing about Buddy Basham is, is that, again, he uses pure power moves. Well, in college, that might work. But in the NFL, you're going to have to learn a little bit more you just can't bull rush through offensive tackles in the NFL. I'm going to be interested to see how he does in the NFL. I give my 13th ranked edge rusher. I give this pick a C. I mean, I, I, I 13th ranked in the second round, a little, little nerve wracking. Let's go to Spencer Brown. All right. Now Spencer Brown, Spencer Brown's athletic. He's quick, excellent length on him. But Nick, weren't there a lot of other offensive tackles still available at this pick? Who was still available? might've been, I, I have to look and say, you got to keep going. Because um, Spencer Brown is a big man. Like, how, how big do you have him here? I'm looking. I'm at pretty six, sure he's six foot eight. I gotta look real fast. Yeah, that, that is that is huge. Six foot eight. I, I'm like I'm excited just based off of his size. He's physical. He's strong. But I want to see how he works in the NFL with quicker, 
pass rushers. Because in college, especially playing for um, Northern Iowa, you, you don't always see the best of the best edge rushers. So once you get into the NFL and you see a guy that's a little quicker, I think you might have a little bit of a hard time just based off of how big he is. So I, I got to see more of that. But overall, I like, the pick, I like the pick because of the physical specimen that he is. But I do think there were probably better offensive tackles available. So I hope the Bills know what they're doing to develop this man. Yeah, no, I, I agree with you. Look, when I when I look at this guy, okay, I I, I he was my tenth ranked offensive tackle. So I, I don't know who was who was left. To be honest with you, I didn't have a chance to really look it up in time. I look at this guy. I see a large man who's actually pretty agile and had a good pro day, right? Agile. Who's this? I scratch my head and say, who does this remind me of? Well, I look back here, six foot eight, 300 pounds, agile. It kind of reminds me of Colton Miller. I had a really good pro day. The only concern is he ends up on the ground too much, not because he is weak, but because he gets tripped up a lot. His pass blocking seems sound. Run blocking seems pretty good as well. He was When he played last year or, or he played during college, the film I watched, he was lined up as primarily a right tackle hopefully that's where they use him they don't try to change things up and make him a left tackle 10th ranked offensive tackle after the draft i give it a b plus grade b plus i think that's pretty good i i I think that's pretty good value big guy a lot of potential there i'm excited to see how he pans out tommy doyle did you scout him no how about marcus stevenson no i scouted him he's a wide receiver the name sounds familiar Uses speed to get by defenders, do not see much of anything else, has decent route running and an okay release, mostly speed, not too impressive. That was my notes. This guy, unfortunately, is one of the guys that in my scouting process, I scouted 27 players at the wide receiver position, and he ranked 26th out of 27. I give this pick a D. Uh, Damar Hamlin, did you scout him? No. Okay, I'm pretty sure he's a safety. I like this kid a little bit. Has pretty good pursuit and reaction time on screen passes. Can come down and make a good tackle. He can play both man and zone, which makes him very valuable. I like the pick. I give this an B, again, a B. And he was my eighth-ranked safety. Mike? Wild Goose. No, nothing about Wild Goose or Jack Anderson. No idea. I wish them luck. All Uh right, what do you think overall in the draft? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I like your first-round pick, Bill fan. Your second-round pick, I don't care for whatsoever. Uh, I don't like it at all. I could be 100% wrong. I don't think Nick liked it. I don't. I think it's a complete reach. Your third-round pick, Spencer Brown, I think he could turn into something special just based off of his height and his athletic ability and what he's able to do. If he, if he, if he just learns some technique, which he should at the NFL level, I think he'll be fine. I'm going to give you a B for this draft. The second round pick, drug it down, and being that I can't grade guys I didn't scout, I'm gonna I'm gonna get, leave you with a B. Yeah, no look, I uh, I the guys I scouted again, I like the Greg Russo pick, I like the Spencer Brown pick, I like the Demar Hamlin pick. The other guys, Tommy Doyle, Rashad Wild Goose, and Jack Anderson, no idea, so don't ask me. But I can tell you something, the Boogie Basham, the Marquez Stevenson pick, not a fan of at all. I, Bills, I love you guys. I love the fans. I love the team. I, I But C+. Plus, I, I give your guys a C+. Plus, just not impressed with those two picks. It's going to drastically bring down your draft grade. It is. And that's why it's a C+. Plus. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoy. If you want more scouting updates, stay tuned to this channel. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We got our coaching grades and our uh, standings coming soon. So be sure to leave a like and subscribe. We'll see you guys soon. Peace. We are. A little better. See you guys soon. Peace.